Hey everybody, Rob here, and I am going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Huawei M835 and the LG Optimus. Now the reason why I'm focusing on these two particular models is the price point. $79 retail for the Huawei M835, and the LG Optimus has been dropped down to $99. That is a phenomenal price. For this phone when it originally came out it was um, over $200 retail I think at the time that I got it it was about $200 retail so I'm focusing on these two here's why the Ascend I believe is probably gonna go away sometime in the next few months and the only reason why I say that is because if this is 99 and this is 79 and the Ascend hasn't been reduced in price I would I would assume that they're probably going to come out with a new model of it or maybe they'll just come out with a, a brand new phone or maybe this is the replacement I'm really not sure and I'm not going to speculate but let's focus on these two phones okay as you can see clearly there's there's a pretty big difference in size I mean I said in the last video that I did that the M835 is very small very compact now, text messaging is going to be identical on these phone guys because they both have the Android 2.2 software in it. So if you look here, here's the swipe keyboard on the LG Optimus, and there is the swipe keyboard on the Huawei M835. Again, the only difference is that they are smaller, okay? And they both do have the speak to text, a little microphone right down there, speak to text right down there as well. Um, I'm going to focus on some basic things that people have been asking me. Like, number one, does it come with a memory card, the MA35? Yes, it does. They both do. They come with two gigabyte memory cards, um, and they'll support up to 32 gig memory cards. They both do have the standard stereo headset jack. And I know a lot of people are happy about that because a lot of people didn't like the Ascend having the smaller headset jack because they had to go out and buy adapters for them and the adapters didn't fit very well because of the little lip on the top of the phone. So they both have that. Uh, let's focus on the speed of the phone. And let me first do the uh, LG Optimus. I mean, this is my phone. You guys have seen it before. I mean, look, the thing screams. There's no delay at all. I mean, you probably can't even see this because I'm going so fast. But I mean, there's no delay, right? Pretty cool background there too. A lot of people have asked me about this background, thunder and lightning and rain. You can get this on the Android Marketplace under live wallpapers. And let's go into the main menu. And again, you'll see, I'll just put it down for a second. Watch. I mean, there's no delay. It scrolls right up to the top. It scrolls right, up, right down to the bottom. I mean, it's really, really, really fast. I'll go back to the home screen. I mean, super, super, super fast. Now let's go over to the M835. Let me just unlock it. Now I'm going to try to go just as fast on this one as I did on mine. You see, it takes like a couple of seconds or like just a little bit longer for those screens to show up. So there is a little bit of delay on the Huawei M835. If I go into the main menu, I'm just going to put it down real quick. Okay. You see, it's it's, it's a little bit slower when it transitions. So, see, back to the main menu, and now here again, just going to scroll really fast. I'm going to scroll here a little bit slower, as you can see. I kind of have to, like, drag my finger a little bit on it. Um, so here's the thing. 79 bucks for here, $99 for the LG Optimus. My personal preference is the LG Optimus, and the reason why I say that is because I've been using it for so long now, and I really haven't had any issues with it at all. I truly do love the phone. I think it's super fast. I think, especially now at $99, it is just such a great buy for the money. And you know what? If you want a solid performer and you want the Android and you like something that's compact, I definitely do think that you'll be happy with um, the Huawei M835. I hope that this, got, this gives you guys um, a better um, um, decision making on which one to buy. And if you have any specific questions that I haven't covered, you can just send me a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I look forward to doing more reviews and more side-by-side -side comparisons in the future. So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.